What's happening boys and girls and welcome back to another progress video. If you missed any of the previous episodes, they'll all be up in the top right corner. Click on those and you'll be able to go from episode 1 to this current episode. Right now we're at RD Knights. I'm just going to go get this level because we're super close to the level and I thought I might as well get it. No real goal thieving wise at the moment. Yeah, we're literally like three levels away from getting that 1,700 total level. It's going to be awesome once we get there. So hopefully we can get this level on film. Uh, we keep getting stunned, which is really annoying. Just let me get it. Stop getting done. I want to get this on film. Come on, please, dude. Stop. There we go. One more. No. No way. Okay, we need we need the next one, and then we're going to be good. Come on. Oh, my God. You guys are definitely getting jump cut here. There we go. 61 thieving. Do we unlock anything new there? You can now enter the fifth room of the Jahalsvara tombs. Don't even know where that is or what that is. So, yeah, great. So, we're grinding a bit of Vorkath here. And we have 91 Rage incoming any second now. Just need to get a couple of hits off. There we go. There's 91 Rage. So, we're, we're getting closer and closer. One level away from halfway to 99 on Rage. Here we go, Bs and Gs. The final Vorkath kill to get this head and upgrade ourselves for some new... We're in for some new gear. Like, we haven't had some new gear in ages, so this is going to be interesting. Let's hop on in. Hopefully, I don't do a scuff kill here, but uh, let's let's go for it. Right, combat pot up, and then we go for the extended anti-fire. Uh, ranging pot. Chuck that on, then chuck the BGS on. we got the spec ready. Drink up that venom so that we can have that for as long as possible, and then we're getting into the piety to try and get this BGS spec off. Mm, didn't get it there. Can we get one on the second one? Come on. Yeah, 240. Do it for the video. Do it for the video. Cool. Let's go. Cool. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. So as long as we can get a few titty specs in, then that's going to be fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, he did. Let's go. 331 XP drop. That's huge. And another one. No. Boom. That's a decent hit. And another one. Let's go. 54. Uh, let's eat up after that. For the 50 kills we've made, we've made like probably 6 mil, I think. It's been it's been good money. Maybe a little bit more than that. I've actually got a tab with Zolra and Vorkav kills. I'll show you that, guys, after in the uh, in the clips. Uh, but it's up to like nearly 11 mil now. So, yeah, we've definitely made some decent money. And most of those have been Vorkav kills. The, uh, the Zolra kills, that's a nice 43 finish. And this is where the head comes. There we go. Vorkav's head at fucking last on the 50th kill. We didn't get it before. But uh, let's just inspect that and have a look. Perhaps Ava would like to see this. We're going to take that over to Ava. And uh, she's going to craft that up for us. Boom. Let's go. Right, guys. We're here with Ava. And we need to go and get our device. Here we go. The Ava's Assembler. Boom. The upgrade. Let's smack that on. Oh, yes. We got our little Vorkath head in there. Naughty as fuck. That's the uh, first upgrade we've had in a while. So we're going to go and test this out of Vorkath and Zolra. See if it makes any difference. It probably won't make a huge difference. Not noticeable. But it definitely will bring the DPS up a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we finally got it. Uh, right, boys and girls. So this is the loop from the Vorkath and Zora kills over the sort of last week or so with 13.8 mil, just off 14 mil. Uh, we're going to go and grab all of this out, go and sell it and uh, just stock up the bank a little bit more because we're running a little bit low on the cash stack. We're at like 16, 17 mil cash stack. So this is going to just throw that cash stack right back up and we can do something with it. Uh, but yeah, like... Ever since starting to boss, this has definitely helped out the account massively. Just in terms of like coins and stuff and getting better at the game. Definitely been a positive thing to get into. So yeah, this is the loot and we'll go and sell it now. That is the end loot. That's what we're going to be selling. Um, just over 10 mil coins. Literally 20 coins over 10 mil. Um, we're going to keep keeping the death runes because I'm going to need them. And we're going to be keeping the Zora scales because I'm going to be needing them anyway. But as you can see, 275k or 14 mil there. Not a bad little snag of loot. Let's go and smack that in the bank. And uh, yeah, happy fucking days. Right, so I've been AFKing Teeks. We're going to go to 75 wood cutting. Uh, we're currently at 71. But there's a big surprise. A huge surprise, Bs and Gs. Let's, uh, let's just hit this tree down. Let's see if we can get one out. Boom! 72 wood cutting. Boom! See ya! 16! We're in the 17s now. We're in the 17s now. 
So here we go guys, we are literally a few XP's away, we need like 10 more logs until we get 75 wood cutting, which obviously unlocks magic trees, which I'm pretty sure is a diary somewhere to like cut a magic tree or something, maybe I'm totally wrong on that, but it's definitely like a big achievement to get to, just because you know it means we can cut pretty much every tree other than redwoods, which you know redwoods have no benefit other than just bonus XP, so any tree that actually means anything in the game uh, we're going to be able to cut, and it's going to take us over to a 17. 1903 total level. Whilst editing the video, I saw Hardcore Toro, Oi lads, should we chip in to get Link Holiday to Australia to get a tan? You fucking cheeky cunt. Ooh, ooh. We are going to do it without the tree falling. Boom, uh, there we go. 75 wood cutting. You can now cut down magic trees. Loving the animation on there as well. Fuck yes, let's fucking go. So the day has come. We've got 50 in all stats except rune crafting. And really, I've got to just bow down to it and just accept it now. We need to go and do it. So we're going to go and do nature runes because at least there'll be profit. I really don't know anything about rune crafting. I've done it so little. All this is from Tears of Guthix and um, XP lamps. Literally, I've done so little of it. Um, I know you need a talisman or a tiara to get in. I don't know where the nature altar is. And I don't really know much about the pouches and stuff. I know I've got a couple. But yeah, literally no clue how to do this. But at least we're going to be making like 200 GP on each room we make. So uh, we'll see what the profit's like. And maybe that will spur me on to do it for a little bit longer. Right, I've gone to the running nature rune world. Because I don't actually know which way I need to go in the abyss. So I'm going to follow this bloke. And uh, hopefully he can show me where to go. I've been there once, I think, but I can't really remember. I know we have to teleport with this bloke. Teleport blocks. And then we need to we need to follow this mate. Where's matey gone? Where the fuck's matey gone? No. Okay, we need to mine something. What do we need to mine? Oh my god, we're getting banged out here. Burned down? No. Come on, what do we need to mine? Oh my god. Mine rock. Okay, so we need to look for those every time. Do you get put into a random place every time? I'm so confused. Nature Rift. Oh, sick. We're right there. Okay, cool. And then... Use. Empty. Empty these. Empty that. There we go. How much XP did we get? Literally 290 or something. What the fuck? This is going to take so long. But I have completed a hard task in the Karamdra area. So, you know, can't complain. Each inventory makes like 6.5k, 6 6.6k, so yeah, not too bad. And you can also repair with this guy, I think. There, I've repaired your pouches, now leave me alone. Okay, cool. So apparently you can just do that every so often, just so they don't break. So it's not like, you know, it's worth doing apparently. I don't really know exactly what it does. I don't know how many charges you get with these pouches. But uh, why does it say fill? Just fucking... It should say empty. There we go, cool. Another one. 81 XP for that last few there as well. Wow, this is bad. So at 50, it should actually speed up a little bit because we get the large pouch, which holds nine extra essences. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I've got a little setup going. I don't know if it's the best way of doing it. But effectively, when I get hit loads in the abyss, I take like, a couple of sharks out and eat them in the bank. Then I take a sip of stamina potion so that I don't run out of run. And then uh, obviously drop all of these back in, do that. These you can tick it, you can do both of those in one tick, so that's pretty nice. Sort of getting the hang of it, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's very click intensive, it's not AFK at all. And also, you get teleported into a random place in the abyss every time, so it's not like you can work it out every time. I'm sure once you've been here like a couple of hundred times, you know exactly where you are in the abyss, but right now I get totally lost, and I'm like, where the fuck is this? So, you know, just a few seconds ago when I was saying that I know a little bit about room crafting, uh, that I know you need a talisman. Turns out you don't need the talisman, so I was wasting an inventory slot, so we've now got rid of that, and we're going to carry on doing this grind. And this is going to be the 50 room crafting inventory. Yes, it is. There we go. 50. There we go. You can now use large pouches, so we'll go and get ourselves one of those large pouches as well, because that's going to speed this up so much. Uh, empty. And empty that one, and let's go and get those. Let's get out of here. Oh, you twat. I've already fucked that up once. 16 minutes ago. Okay. So we've got to go and kill all these monsters so that we can get a large pouch off them. So let's fucking start this. Let's get over here. I want to get somewhere where we're a bit safer. Wow, there's a lot. 
Jesus Christ, they don't stack, do they? No, cool. I didn't realise it wasn't wilderness in here, so I can, like, bring stuff. I can bring, like, a, a whip and stuff. I thought I was going to be scold and someone could just bang me out. So I'm going to get this kill, and then if we're not, uh, if we don't have it after this kill, we'll go and get ourselves some better gear. So just attacking these little things is way easier. They literally have ten hit points, and you can pretty much bang them out straight away. As I say that, we uh, we take three to hit it. But uh, yeah, we've been banging them pretty much straight away. Uh, there we go, there's a ten. See, they only have ten hit points, so yeah, it's it's pretty easy to just kill them. So they seem to be the way to go and get this. Come on, matey, give it to me. There we go, at fucking last. Okay, let's get out of here. Edgeville, please. But guys, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today. We just went and got that large pouch, which is going to help us out massively. I'll get some of these room crafting levels in my own time off camera. Hopefully, I'll be like 60 by the time you next see the progress videos. Guys, I've got so much to show you on the Rags to Riches episodes as well. One of those will be out tomorrow. I cannot wait to show you the gains we've got over on there. If you haven't started that series, I'll leave that playlist up in the top right corner as well, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go Never gonna say goodbye, no Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go Never gonna say goodbye, no Never gonna give you up